In today's video, I'm going to show you how to implement a user approval functionality in WordPress. We're going to accomplish this by using a code snippet that allows you to manually approve new users before they are able to log into your website. This is a great way to ensure that only legitimate users gain access to your website and a great way to prevent spam registrations. So here we have a registration form that I've created with Jetform Builder and the login user after registration option is enabled. So the form essentially acts as both a registration and a login form. So now I'm going to register. Just remember this email, Photoslide VIP. Okay. So I'm going to click register. And as you can see, I've been redirected to a page that says your account is pending approval. And until I approve this user, every time he's going to try to log in, he's going to be redirected to this page with this message. Now let me show you how to approve this newly created user. So I'm going to go to my dashboard, users, and you will see that we have a new column added labeled approval status, which I've made sortable. And why is it important? Because WordPress organizes users in alphabetical order. Users pending approval may not appear on the first page if the first letter starts with the P, let's say, especially if you have many users on your website. So now with this sortable feature, you can just click on it and it will filter the users based on their approval status. So I'm going to click on it. And now you can see the account we just created, the Photoslide VIP, and with an approve button. So to approve the user, you simply click the button and now the user is approved. And if I'm going to check the email I registered with, you're going to see that I've received an email stating that my account is now approved and the word login is a link to the login page. Okay, so I'm not going to click on it. I'm going to go to incognito mode and I'm going to try to connect from here. So I'm going to log in. And now as you can see, I'm logged in and I wasn't redirected to the pending account message. Okay, now all of this process is possible with the code snippet. Now to get this code snippet, you need to go to the code page. So we're going to go to the code page. You're going to find this link in the description. You're going to scroll down. You're going to look for a new user approval. And all you need to do to copy the code, just click the code button. Okay. Next, go to your WordPress dashboard. I'm going to go to code snippet, which is my go to snippet plugin. And I'm going to click add new. Now I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to name it new user approval. Next, make sure that you are in the PHP tab and paste here the code. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select only run in administration area, okay? And then you can click save changes and activate. Now this code is already on my system, so I'm not gonna activate it. But the first time you're gonna run this script, it will automatically approve all of your existing users. After that, every new user will have the approve button, okay? Now let's go back to the code. Now this code is broken down into nine steps. And each step has an explanation so you know exactly what it does and can make changes if needed. Now there are two changes that you must make and they are the URLs. The first one is the URL for the login link that the user gets in his email when his account is approved. This one over here, okay? So to change it in the code, in step number seven, you can find the URL over here. So you just need to highlight it and paste here your URL instead. Now let's say you don't want an email to be sent to the user when you approve his account. So you just need to go to step number seven, highlight this whole step, until you see end of step seven and just delete it. And then this functionality will be gone. Okay. Now the second URL that we need to replace is the URL for the redirection. So I'm gonna scroll up to step number three, which is over here. And you're gonna see that the URL is here. So again, just highlight it and paste your own. So those were the important things I wanted to mention. Feel free to read the comments and make your own changes. And so that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.